President Joe Biden and Democratic leaders are pushing for what they call needed legislation to protect Americans' voting rights. But they want to change some of the rules in the U.S. Senate in order to do that. Alex Cameron has the latest from our News on 6 Washington Bureau. Well, Democrats and many Republicans saw January 6th as an attack on our democracy. And many Democrats say democracy is still under attack in the form of voter suppression and their intent on stopping it. This legislation is the most important and we have to keep working in order to get the job done. Speaker Nancy Pelosi yesterday talked about the changes in election law enacted in red states across the country since the 2020 election. Measures that Republicans say are necessary to ensure the integrity of future elections, Democrats call a major threat to our democracy. They are not only suppressing the vote, suppressing the vote, they are nullifying elections. We cannot let that happen. The legislation Democrats are trying to pass includes things like automatic voter registration, universal access to mail-in voting, and establishment of Election Day as a holiday. It's passed the House, but has been blocked in the Senate via filibuster multiple times by the minority Republicans. The Senate is the only place in government where the minority always has a voice. But Senator James Lankford says Majority Leader Schumer is trying to take the minority's voice away, referring to Schumer's plan to call for a vote on changing filibuster rules so the voting rights bills can come to the floor. Chuck Schumer used to believe, in fact, he in the past has said ending the legislative filibuster would be a doomsday for our democracy, would make us into a banana republic. Well, Democrats and Republicans have made changes to the filibuster before, most recently in 2017, when Senator Lankford and what was then the Republican majority voted to eliminate the use of the filibuster in the confirmation of Supreme Court nominees. From our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.